Oh my god, they had an ad that lasted a full minute. Just be, be glad we skipped that, okay? Hi, I'm Blackjack Gabbiani. My co-host Athena is in the other room. She was going to join me, but she decided to get horny on shoulder. It was disgusting. Birds! Birds, right? Anyway, Winter Soldier vs. Red Hood. I have been spoiled on the next video, however, um, because it was apparently announced at RTX. Um, however, I've not been spoiled on this video, and that's what counts. Um, and next video is uh, Krona. We finally are getting Krona, the last character that was revealed at the end of last season. So, yay. And I know who they're fighting too, so yeah. I don't know any connections between them, but we'll find that out in two weeks. Every good superhero or world conquering scientist needs one, right, Boomstick? That's right. Hey, I think we all know which one of us is the real sidekick here. Dummy. Such as the Winter Soldier, <laughs> Jocelyn, Marvel's brainwashed assassin, and Red Hood, DC's resurrected Robin turned vigilante. He's Wiz, and I'm Boomstick. <laughs> And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. <laughs> I love the live-action shit. Two. As strange as it is to name a war a sequel like some sort of movie, it was a time of turmoil across the globe. The brave and patriotic did their part, including one James Buchanan Barnes, known by his friends James as Buchanan Bucky. Buchanan Barnes. As a young lad, Bucky ripped open a standard superhero <laughs> I love that. Pack. To find classic cards like dead parents and deep desire to fight for justice. And that combo served him well. In the I have US a deep desire military. to fight for justice. He I just don't know where to get started. And eventually got recruited for special assignments and training with British commandos. Not long after that, he became friends with his own personal hero and the country's favorite. So they didn't grow up together Captain like in the movie? America. Bucky was initially unaware of the captain's secret identity until one night he walked in on Steve Rogers changing into his costume. <laughs> well, I guess that's well, one why you Captain America, guy. not just Luckily, you happen to be dressed like him. And asked him to become his you little rascal, I ought to tan your hide. Work. They fought side by side, kicking Nazi ass throughout the rest of the war. <laughs> the duo seemed to be unstoppable until one fateful mission when they leapt after a plane to catch Nazi okay, scientists. A black Zima. Nazi? Really? Bucky, he was able to grab onto the plane while Cap fell into the ocean to nab his last diving merit badge. Get it? Cause, cause he's a boy scout. Unfortunately for yeah. Bucky, the plane was booby trapped and exploded. Of course it was. It appeared as though the captain's loyal sidekick had been killed. But the ones we love in comic books never truly leave us. Sometime after Unless the war, Uncle a ben. Russian submarine discovered Bucky's body preserved in the icy waters of the English Channel. They decided to Does the English Channel get that on cold? Because why not? Who could pass up a free body you found? Even if it was missing an arm. Bucky's training and experience made him the perfect candidate as the ultimate assassin. And okay. after they revived and brainwashed him, they outfitted him with a shiny new bionic arm. Turning Bucky Sounds into good. the Winter Soldier. Along with this new persona, the Winter Soldier sported a sundry of skills throughout his career. Age 94, physically in his 30s. For starters, he was injected with the Infinity Formula, which permanently increased his physical ability to an enhanced state. This made him quite the formidable foe, even for okay, Captain just, America. Just a moment. Let me... The Infinity Formula grants Bucky a healing factor that is much slower than those of mutants like Deadpool or Wolverine. A foe Makes who sense. seemingly abandoned the values the duo previously shared. These two have fought plenty of times, and Bucky's been able to hold his own against his former partner. His ah! advanced strength and speed, coupled with his knowledge of various styles, make for a lethal combination. He's skilled in everything from hand-to-hand -hand close quarters combat to an impressive arsenal of ranged weaponry. Oh yeah, yep. he's got a ton of sweet guns that are outfitted with some nifty palm print sensors. So Interesting. He can shoot them. If anyone other than the Winter Soldier tries to use these firearms, they will self-destruct. He also wields a katana, throwing knives, pretty Wait, much Wait, does that mean he can't use them in his metal arm? Con. Always a good time at Ascon. Ugh. But we can't forget his most iconic piece, the arm. Well, I mean, it's definitely the Do you guys know what the leverage convention seen. is called? What about it's mine? called ConCon. Con. Come on, Wiz, look at that thing! His is super buff! 
Pluses get a flamethrower, a retractable blade. It can emit electric charges, and it's so strong. Knives break on impact. Nice. So the size of the arm. That's how you use it. Well, sure, it's strong, but it's not in this. Okay, I remembered to switch before. Structural. It's been torn up by a vibranium sword. Wait, wait. I thought the arm was made of vibranium. Yep. You're thinking of the movies. In the comics, oh. Bucky did not receive a vibranium arm birthday present from T'Challa. Canonically, his arm is made up of strong but unspecified metals. Like in the form of titanium alloy, similar to the Iron Man suit. Even without yeah, I thought it was... Tough to keep up with I thought vibranium was just Marvel's kind of go-to. Okay, overpowered Berserker Wolverine. Oh my god. Oh, did you guys hear that the guy who used to voice Cyclops died? Yeah, he was like in his 80s, but... Gosh. Match Steve Rogers in combat. Crack Shockwave's helmet. I don't know who Shockwave is. Sorry. Um, tanked a multi cocktail. Sliced Hawkeye's arrow in mid flight. Zatine was the U.S. Army's best sniper. Well, those two kind of go hand in hand. Um, defeat a Red Skull, Nomad, Hawkeye, and Punisher. My dad's been watching Punisher. <laughs> List, which was strong enough really to tear through a helicopter moments later. And consider the heroes he's battled. I don't know who Nomad Overweight, is either. Daredevil, Iron Man, and obviously Captain America. And also isn't Red Skull like a few different people? So they should have just knocked him on the head Usually good. he's Johan Schmidt, which is obviously a fake name. Are, right? Or you can use a cosmic cube to rewrite their memories. That's what Captain America did to save Bucky. Who was <laughs> just so trust me, it's okay. He just straight up crushed the cube with his bare bionic hand. Nice. While this brought him back, Bucky wasn't the same man who went into those icy waters. His remorse for his crimes was tough to overcome, and he would always wonder if he's done enough good to finally redeem himself. But thankfully, it was hard to shake everything. But when you enter a fighting game... Steve. But you can just beat the shit out of everyone. For justice, and even took up the shield himself for a while. Proving that, right. despite his sordid past, Bucky's persistence and resilience makes him a hero in his own right. Uh, no, dislike all ads. Dislike all ads. Shut up. I do not consent to view ads on my YouTube stuff. Shut up! When you think of the word sidekick, who immediately comes to mind? <laughs> you. It's you. No, <laughs> Robin, you. <laughs> the boy wonder. Batman's iconic crime-fighting partner. Yeah, it's a close second. Too bad the Cape Crusader sidecar <laughs> has been a revolving door of orphans and acrobats. Not including alternate universes and what-if stories, Batman has taken five different Robins under his bat wing. <laughs> Some moved on to pursue a superhero career of their own. Others Hair, my didn't turn out so lucky. Enter Jason Todd. This poor kid was given the short end of the stick. The one they just the plain skipped in the animated series. It. Jason grew up on the streets of Gotham, getting by through a life of petty crime, until eventually running into the Batman Yeah, himself. they went straight from Dick Grayson I to, to um, the Batmobile. I am blanking on his name. Balls. I mean, you can't the other exactly one, look you know? At a damn Batmobile <laughs> and mistake it for someone else's car. Bruce had recently split up with the first Robin, Dick Grayson, and was on the lookout for a new sidekick. Impressed by Jason's scrappiness and latent ability, he had the 12 year old suit up. He kind of finished yes, the job, boy. Really Yanks! Well, creepy child abducting habits aside, Rance hoped he could live up to the last Robin. Too bad this was a literal dick Confirm kill count 83 Jason as of July 2013. Despite some moderate success, Jason wasn't exactly an extraordinary Robin. And the fans Isn't saw the current too, Robin um move, DC asked their readers like, to vote for whether or not kid. Jason Todd would live or die. Yep, they voted to kill the shit out of that kid. But there's evidence that there may have been vote tampering. <laughs> That's off whiz. Do some serious mental health issues. Call five 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 two three three seven or five 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 beer. Jason Todd was dead until Superboy Prime punched a hole in the fabric of reality and accidentally brought him back. Because, of course, Two that's story, what you do. And after a dip in a magic hot tub, the Lazarus Pit, Jason was back in top form. Take that, readers. Your contribution <laughs> means nothing. Yeah, because, again, there was probably vote tampering. 
the Red Hood. While the freaky death pit did bring him back stronger and faster, it turns out resurrection comes at a price. Jason yeah. was already a hothead, but Red Hood had a serious temper with violent outbursts. He Is that the penguin he's threatening? Nugget, but he had a goal. Oh yeah, you have to be like extremely humane methods were unfit in control. You have to have an extremely city. strong will to overcome the Lazarus pit. killed the Joker way back when. He never would have killed Jason in the first place. For a raging psychopath, he's not exactly wrong. Where <laughs> Batman failed, Jason was up for the task. He pushed himself to become a killing machine. Even Bruce would have a tough time keeping up with. Even training yeah, yeah. With the League of Assassins and the All Cast, a group Jeez, of Jeez, the League of Assassins, Assassins just takes so anybody, don't they? Stuff in this episode. In addition to Red Hood's wide array of skills, he also maintains a serious collection in his arsenal. Most obviously, his armored cowl. While it provides him with sturdy protection, the sensors within also allow him to scan his surrounding area, neutralizing any potential stealth threats. Plus, the hood can also All explode, blade. so that's convenient. Sounds like my new hangover recipe. On top of the red chrome dome, Jason packs all sorts of knives, explosives, guns. Hang on. At what point did they actually find out that Joker had once been the Red Hood? Because I remember that was in Killing Joke, but he was Red Hood for exactly one mission before everything went to shit. And kind of imitating the infamous pose, but I don't remember the exact finger placement. Oh well. <laughs> he even wants some of these weird magic swords called the All Blades to fight off supernatural threats. It'll only be seven in the presence of true evil. So, is it ain't gonna happen venom. here. Wait, wait, wait. What's the symbiote doing here? No, no, the Venom drug. It's what Bane uses to get all, you know, swole. <laughs> to get all you Bane. Have you ever been to the gym, like, even once? Dummy, I'm here to carry your arbitrary burdens. Venom is an addictive steroid that increases strength and stamina tenfold. A normal dose also affects the mind. Oh, you guys ended up marrying Lydia, right? Bouts of rage, but Jason. <laughs> Superpowers, here I come! You, just you can call drink it. me the Red Neck. No, no, you're supposed to inject it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh Using Venom has made Red Hood strong enough to fight off monsters twice his size. He's not drastically up to his muscular size like the iteration companies by Bane. Ah, that's good Air to know. through alien tendrils, and even once break the grip of Supergirl. He can hold up a small part She didn't of a seem to be holding on to him very tightly, bullets, though. And even once survived an all-cast ritual called the cleansing, which no human has been able to do in I over a thousand years. And while it was difficult to determine if this feat was due to Jason's worthiness or stubbornness, it's safe to say that Can't way, me both. he's a tough guy. Tough a to scrawny a fellow there. Hole, or at least he carries enough explosives to blow a hole through it. Either way, I wouldn't want to go one on one with this guy. Tim Drake, that's the name of the guy I was trying to remember. To match his brute strength. He was able to sneak away from Supergirl. Even Bruce will be proud of that one. Despite nice. how Jason tried to kill him. But the Red Hood failed and was left to re examine his own personal code. He ultimately decided to be a hero again, albeit a very conflicted one. He even teamed up with Vance and even worked alongside other Robins. He also leads a group of ragtag heroes called the Outlaws. The nice, nice. The coaster of Red Hood's crime-fighting career has, at best, landed one himself the, in that anti-hero uh, spot. And at worst, made uh, him a violent vigilante ladies. who takes the law into his own hands. The, the Fatal Furies. Those are the heads of all your lieutenants. That took me two Which? hours. You want to see what I can get done in a whole evening? As opposed to all Fatal right, Fury, which is a video set. game. We run the but... All possibilities. but first, if you're into pulse pounding shows with assassins like these, blah, check blah, out blah, HBO blah. Max. Blah, 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 blah. Woo! Okay, so. Peacock is streaming, Shut and it's free. Down to all ads. Movies, sports, breaking news. I don't care if it's an ad, I'm in. Tons. And that's why you can't not watch. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, so... Gosh, um... It kind of seems like, um, Winter Soldier might have the advantage. Um... But I don't know. 
I don't, I don't know. I mean, especially considering this is a live action one, they're not gonna get in a whole bunch of like mystic shit. <laughs> Neither one of these really has mystic shit. Um, I have a feeling Winter Soldier's arm is gonna come off at some point. Um, Red Hood's gonna try to pick up those guns and it's gonna explode but it's probably not gonna do much to him he might have like the reaction speed or wherewithal to throw it I mean you could probably use that as a weapon if you can get it away from yourself fast enough uh, those swords aren't gonna work because they only work around true evil and so on Yo, Barbie. What do you want, Bruce? Eight assassins from the League of Shadows were gunned down two miles from your current location. He's got a pretty good Bruce Conroy impersonator. With rounds from a modified M4. A gun I know is in your arsenal. <laughs> as much as I'd love to take credit for that one, it wasn't me. Don't lie to me. It wasn't me, Bruce. But you know what? You can count on me to crack the case. In fact, I believe there's a bit of evidence that demands my attention right now. Jason. <laughs> Big belly burger. Yeah, I could go for some burgers. Whoever wins is going to end up finishing the burger. They're going to burst through the fish tank wall, aren't they? Isn't they? I say it as if I don't know who his opponent is. <laughs> there we go. Hey, bud. You said something about evidence. They film these, you know? Like, are we gonna get a behind the scenes? I'd like to get a behind the scenes. Find out how, how much do squibs cost? And all the fake glass that you know they're gonna end up breaking. Well, he does have that weird, uh, he can move without being sensed. Bar's closed. I'd love to do some of this flippy dippy shit, it'd be so cool. I mean, I'd love to be able to. <laughs> You've seen my physique. It's less pear and more orange. Ah, <laughs> pop it a pop. Okay. I love cosplay shit. It's so cool. That's awesome. That was a really cool shot. He's just the swinging doors. about this. They had to go, they had to find, like, uh, an abandoned restaurant or something to film in. <laughs> or, like, a prop restaurant if they live around where there's a lot of filming. Fighting off a metal arm, that's pretty cool. Speaking of metal arms, you know who should be in a death battle? Barrett Wallace. Why hasn't he been in one? And I know I say this as someone who thinks Seven is oversaturated. Ooh, you broke the hood. Well, you know, let's have characters from other Final Fantasies first, and then let's put Barrett in. Turn on 
the deep fryer! Turn on the deep fryer! I did not intend for my voice to crack like that. Why is he suddenly having a Joker flashback? Oh, because he's coming at him with a crowbar. Yeah, I knew that wasn't gonna be it. Hey, you pry the thing out of his arm. That's good. That's good. Sorry, Bruce. Well, shit. <laughs> they dead. Oh, yeah? Why does his voice go all scorpion on us? Like, does it come with- does the venom come with a voice modulator? Cool, cool. He's gonna try to use it, and it's gonna blow up. Hey, I knew it, I knew it wouldn't do much to him. Phew. This is Agent Bones. Get the burger. What did he do to him, though? What did he do to finish him off? Don't let a perfectly good burger go to waste! Come on! KO! Talk about a headache! These two were quite even Oh, that's matched. right, because he, uh, uh, he can do a shot. He can do a shoot a knife through it. Had almost identical speed and reactionary feats. And nice. Jason definitely had better still skills. Oh However, yeah. Bucky Barnes earned the edge in almost every other way. Like how Red Hood had plenty of experience training with Batman and assassins, but Wendy had decades of training on him with commandos as the captain's side piece, an emo assassin, side and piece. even as Captain America himself. The Winter Soldier also had an edge in defense. His metal arm was able to shatter a knife on impact, but when Red Hood took a similar hit, his helmet cracked. Red really didn't have any way to stop that arm for good. He logically could not be defined as pure evil, yeah. Sure, using Venom could even the playing field for a short time, but a even power up is evil to a is extraordinarily arm in the rarely infinity formula. Pure evil. Don't take Jason breaking Supergirl's grip out of context. She wasn't expecting the Venom, and they weren't even fighting in the first place. It's yeah. interesting, but not nearly as noteworthy as it sounds. Yeah, we she doesn't. She didn't seem to be doing much of anything. There's no way <laughs> she just Red seemed to kind of like, in a real like, role. Hey, like Red uh, Hood was a huh. deadly combatant, but the Winter Soldier one upped him with like she didn't seem to be trying to survivability and a consistent strength advantage. In a place, or... Looks like Bucky was the winter. The winner is the Winter Soldier. <laughs> Hey, Marvel finally beats DC and something, huh? Come back huh? next week to see previews of our upcoming matchups. Okay, and we already know right it's gonna be Chrono vs. Venom. Okay, okay. Cool, cool. So yeah, I spent most of the time talking about the how it's live action and how that's really cool. But uh, yeah, I, I guess it's one of those things It's just like I kind of detach from it with live action because, you know, my parents are always watching like movies and stuff that have stuff like that going on. My parents watch a lot of action movies and what's funny is like my mom will not go near a comic book, but she likes comic book movies. Like... <laughs> like, they were watching Winter Soldier the other day. <coughs> no, wait, no, they were watching the first Captain America. 
and I made a comment about Bucky, and they were like, what? And I was like, you guys, you saw that movie. We all saw it together. <sighs> My dad falls asleep during movies. He does not realize that he falls asleep during movies. My mom has no such excuse. <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. Anyway, next time I have no idea what they have in common. <laughs> but hey, Venom did show up. Mm. So I guess I just don't have much to say other than that I really love the live action stuff, even if I have even less to say about it than I usually do. Just because it's more like... Um, you know, I'm thinking about all the practical stuff that goes into it. Because when it's animated, everything's animated, you know? Unless it's like with um, that one part in um, Deadpool vs. Pinkie Pie where they went into a death battle meeting and were started yelling at the people. It's like, how far advanced did they have to film that? Was that like the last part filmed or something? Or <laughs> did they film that at the same time as the, as the rest of the animation was being done? Actually, there was a live-action part in Deadpool vs. The Mask, too, wasn't there? <laughs> Except everyone was live-action in that one. I mean, you couldn't very well bring in a horse to the office. But <laughs> uh. <laughs> I mean, about this battle, I can... I was going to say I could authoritatively say that PTSD doesn't work like that, but I don't have combat PTSD. I just have some other kinds. I'm not going to get into it. I have. Um, look up my What Diamond and Pearl Means to Me video um, if you really want to know. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was never uh, beaten with a crowbar, so who knows? I don't know. Do, do, can anyone tell me if that's what happens to you? You start having, like, immediate flashbacks, person's voice and everything. I don't remember what anyone sounded like. <laughs> I honestly don't. I mean, it's been over 20 years, but... Oh, goodness. Yeah, so that got a little darker. Not as dark as my Sims video the other day, but darker than I would have hoped. <laughs> By the way, I just came back from the dentist. Mm. The dentist asked if I smoke. I have never smoked. This is what tetracycline does. I took it as a teenager. Um, I don't even remember for what, but yeah, it, it's known to stain your teeth. My teeth are healthy though. I mean, except I have a impacted wisdom tooth needs to be taken out, but other than that, my teeth are healthy. They just look Kinda, but that's because of the medicine I took that tinted them and yeah <laughs> I don't know why the tip here well I don't know why the tip here is lighter I know why here is lighter and that's because most a good deal of that is an artificial tooth because of an accident I had as a kid but yeah, it's like the adult teeth that just come in and I'm getting out of the pool and I... Whoop! What's all this powder in my mouth? Oh my god, it's my tooth. Yeah, see... <laughs> People in movies just spit out whole teeth that they get busted and it's just like, nah, 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 nah. The weird thing is it looked fine from the front. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm just going into, I, I'm varying in, I'm talking about live action fight scenes, and I'm just running at the mouth, so I'm just going to go. So I will see you all in two weeks, we're finally getting Krona, um, last chance to tell me, I still don't know. Um, was Krana actually a gender, or is Krana, uh, Krana, um, unidentified gender? Because, you know, there is a difference. 
<laughs> okay, so I will see you all later. And I guess we're just going to see Venom again, huh? Okay. Bye-bye.